Sellier than Verizon That mean I break a bitch like the leg on Joe Theismann She lies when I get faded off some Heaney and some Red Bull You fly but I teleport like Deadpool Got a nine in my sock pocket, no damn pool Damn fool, I get love in my city, do you? Nobody Yo, what the fuck is the deal, man? It's your boy SDJ, man. Back episode number eight, FUTV. The real nigga blocker ain't went nowhere. I told you, I told you, we gonna keep on mashing these motherfuckers out, man. This shit is nothing to me. Nigga been busy, you know what I'm saying? Like I always say, if you've been watching, I'm a, I'm a rapper first, blocker second. But shit, we back, motherfuckers. Episode number eight, nigga. <laughs> the real nigga blocker is back. Um, before we get into today's episode, uh. Let's see. I'm going to be putting out phone interviews and shit. Make sure you subscribe, man. Make sure you like. Like I said, I still got shit coming, man. I'm not going to stop. Like, every time you think I'm going to stop, I'm right back in this motherfucker, man. So, uh, make sure you're on the lookout. I got a big uh, big phone interview. Niggas was fucking with that Dre B interview. That's my nigga, man. Shout out to Dre B. I got another big phone interview coming later. Right after I drop this episode, I'm dropping another phone interview. You feel me? So, uh... Shout out to all the subscribers, man. I got a lot of big shit planned for y'all. I haven't got about how YG stole Ari either, man. That shit's still coming. I just gotta get my shit up. Gotta get my subscribers up, man. Tell you, tell your peoples the shit, man. Tell your friends the shit. But enough about that. Um, let's get into today into today's episode. Um, four quick topics, man. Get this shit over real, real, real quick. Uh, topic number one. I'm gonna go with uh, Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball. Now, if you don't know who Lonzo Ball is, um, um, he's the he's the point guard for the Lakers. Um, he plays basketball. You know what I'm saying? NBA. He's uh, more famously known for having an ignorant ass daddy, nigga. Daddy ignorant than motherfucker, man. Just talk a lot of shit. South Central, nigga, man. Just just ignorant, ball headed ass, light skin, nigga. Just rolling around the world, just talking shit, shit. His son could hoop a little bit, so now he got a platform. Just talk as much shit as he want. They came out with the shoes. They was like five hundred dollars for, for for a shoe that like, a lot of people didn't like. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that's what he got. That's that's what he famous for. For hooping and having an ignorant ass daddy. But anyways, the reason I'm talking about him is uh, he recently said that, um, and I, I'm not going to quote him, but he recently basically said that uh, Nas is in hip-hop, the Migos in future is hip-hop. Now, I'm not going to bash him. He's a, he's, a, he's a young nigga. I think he's only like 19 or something like that. So he's a young nigga, man. He don't, he, he, he's never listened to, he's obviously never listened to It Was Written. He's, he ain't listened to Illmatic, man. Yeah, he don't know about the biggie. Who, who you thought kicking the dog was for? But that's my heart. He don't know about that shit, you know? Um, Nas is actually, he said that. Who listens to Nas? I mean, that shit was crazy. Nas came out and said that uh, he didn't know who the fuck Lonzo Ball was, which he was probably lying. He was probably just, you know what I'm saying, trying to pull some rank on the little nigga. Everybody know who the big ballers is, you know what I'm saying? But he just disrespected the fuck out of Nas. I'm going to tell you like this, man. Um... People do still listen to Nas. Nas is actually one of the greatest rappers ever, if you ask me. Um, Nas is well, well, well accomplished. Uh, he had beef with Jay-Z that some people arguably say he won. So this is, this is fucking hove we're talking about, you know? But, um, so for Lonzo Ball to say that, I mean, everybody's entitled to their opinion, you know? He said Nas ain't real hip-hop. Future and Migos is. Now, everybody's entitled to their opinion but uh shit that's a that's a rough that's a rough opinion man um not to take away from the Migos not to take away from Future because uh I actually like Future I don't think he's the best rapper but I I like him though um a couple songs of the Migos I like I mean I remember back Back when, when him, and, him and Smith was out, man, I used to listen to the Migos, you know what I'm saying, back in 2012, you know what I'm saying? But, um, so no disrespect for, to them niggas, but Nas is, you know what I'm saying, Nas could wrap circles around them niggas. I mean, if we're talking about rap, you know, I mean, he'll wrap circles around them niggas. I mean, he's made better songs, you know, I mean, um... As far as song, song structure, as far as, you know what I'm saying, all the shit that, that, that makes you a complete artist, I think Nas, you know what I'm saying, holds over the Migos and Future, you know, iconic status, I mean, the nigga just old, I mean, who cares if he wears feetless, who cares if he's not rapping over trap beats, that's not his fucking era, you know, you gotta think about, when you compare rappers, you know what I'm saying, you gotta, you gotta take in, 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 into consideration 
they wasn't in the same era. If you're not comparing rappers in the same era, it's really hard to compare them, you know, because every every era, you know what I'm saying, changes, you know what I'm saying? Every every so often a new way of rapping is invented, basically. So, um, that was stupid that motherfucker Falonzo Ball to say, but uh everybody's entitled to that pain. So let me know what y'all think about that, man. Make sure you comment, subscribe, whatever. Uh, let me know what you think about Lonzo Ball's stupid ass statement and, 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 You know what I'm saying Apple don't fall too far from the tree obviously But um Anyway it's enough about that Topic number two Topic number two I'm talking about the CD Now um Nowadays As a rapper I remember I remember I remember back in the day Back in the day Um People would you you would go to the gas station, your local gas station or the mall or you know what I'm saying, just out and you'll see motherfuckers on the street corner, you know what I'm saying, passing out CDs or accepting donations or or basically passing out CDs. Now my question my question to y'all, my question to everybody is is it is it over with for the C D? Because at the end of the day, nowadays, everybody taking their music to Spotify, Apple and streaming the shit. Now, with me having a project coming up, and I'm pretty sure any rapper that raps nowadays has to think like, like, damn, how much do you invest in the CD? You know, that's a, that's a real big question because the CD is like the big man in the NBA. Like the CD, if, if, if media outlets could have an all-star game, you wouldn't have to vote for the CD, you know? <laughs> you know, uh, it's like the big man, you know what I'm saying? It's like... It's like cassettes was, you know what I'm saying, in the early 2000s and shit. You know, I mean, it's still around, but how, 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 how necessary is it? Because now we're in the cars nowadays to where, motherfuckers, make sure y'all uh, comment on that. Let me know. Um, I don't think the CD got another five years. I don't think the CD got another four years. I don't even think record labels got another four years, but that's another topic for another day. But let me know what y'all think about that, man. Um, how prehistoric is the CD at this point right now? How, how, how prehistoric is it right now? Um, let me know what y'all think about that. But topic number three, you already know. Mwah! Topic number three, mwah! Topic number three, be a little, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this time it ain't even, it ain't even all that. Uh, topic number three is the All Eyes on, on, on Me movie, the Tupac movie. Now, a lot of people seen the movie, and I say 90% of the people say they didn't like the movie, you know. But uh, one thing y'all need to y'all need to understand why why I, why I think a lot of people don't understand is um there to put his give give his input like people always comparing the All Eyes on Me movie to um Straight Outta Compton, but I mean it's basically two totally different entities if you if you really think about it because those guys are actually alive still you know more than the majority of the majority of the group of NWA is still alive to this day you know so it's it's a it's a totally different animal when you're doing a movie about a motherfucker that's dead you know they're not there to give yet their input and all that but that's that's for one for two um what happened was what a lot of people don't know is um Afeni wasn't a part of the movie Afeni didn't like the fact that she was being portrayed as a drug addict she didn't want that to be in the movie at all let alone a major part of the movie is her being on drugs and and, and, and then moving around like they did like like it happened in real life i mean it happened in what happened was the rights to the movie now somehow some way uh, Afeni wanted to have more control over the movie, but somehow, some way, she got tricked into signing the movie over. Now she did get tricked. She did get tricked. Who tricked her? I mean, we'll probably never know. But she did get tricked into signing the movie rights away, and they made the movie happen. You know, they made the movie happen to the best that they could. Now, one thing I can't say, like I'm a super Tupac fan, you know, and. One thing I can say is I like the movie. I went and saw the movie three times. I mean, I went and seen the first showing at the matinee that that that, that when it came out, and I seen it two more times right after that. Um, I can say um, the movie was was pretty accurate. It's a fucking movie. It's not it's not the real life, you know. It, it's not real life. I mean, it's a fucking movie. It's not it's not real life. 
But if I can honestly say from my perspective as being somebody that's been following Tupac, you know what I'm saying, since the early liners, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew Tupac lyrics before my ABCs. I mean, that's a no fact. You can ask family members. Like, I didn't even know my ABCs yet. And I knew poetry, pals, pistols, plotting on murdering motherfuckers before they hit you. Picturing pitiful punk niggas copy please, you know what I'm saying, before my ABCs, you know. So it's like, oh. Uh, from my standpoint, I think it was a good movie. I think they did the best they could. I mean, if it was me, I would have did it in two parts. All Eyes on Me was a double disc. I would have made it a double movie as well. I think Tupac's life was a little bit too... Too deep to put into one movie. Unless he was going to do like Malcolm X and make it four hours. I mean, I would have did that. But they tried the best they could to cram all that shit in. And, um... I enjoyed it, man. I, I enjoyed it, man. But people don't know, um, it wasn't Benny Boone and them fault. Uh, it wasn't Benny Boone and them fault. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't nobody's fault. Um, Jada Pinkin got on there talking about, talking about, um, talking about shit about the movie that wasn't even in the movie, you know? Uh, people talk about iPhone shit was in the movie. Jada Pinkin said that they, uh, that Tupac moved to California because he was made to move to California and that's why she was getting all mad, but that's what happened in the fucking movie. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get that. But uh, let me know what y'all think about that shit, man. Let me know what y'all think about the All Eyes On Me movie. I mean, it's kind of old now. They're coming out with the blue right now, but uh, it's Tupac, man. Tupac never dies. Now, it's not a day goes by where Tupac's name don't get mentioned. Always remember that. Longer and longer, my nigga. But uh, <laughs> so I've been number four to wrap this shit up. Is the death of battle rap. I'm actually gonna drop a blog. So before y'all niggas even see this shit, I'm gonna drop a blog of uh, this processor right now. I'm gonna drop a blog, a whole like 17 minute blog on what the fuck happened to battle rap. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm 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 just uh, sum it all up right now, real quick, of what why hasn't it been a total slaughter? Why hasn't it been a gladiator school? Why has sponsors dropped out? Why has battle rappers not been paid like they were getting paid in 2013 and, and shit now? It's because uh, everybody fucked up, man. Everybody fucked up. And this is how everybody fucked up. The big leagues, which is URL, King of the Dot, Smack, the little short nigga with the beard and shit. They fucked up by, for one, they fucked up by, 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 by paying the niggas, overpaying the niggas. Murder Mook got overpaid. If he really got 20000 for the Iron Solomon and shit, He's, he was overpaid. He was overpaid. If 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 Loaded Lux got forty thousand dollars for the Calico shit, which is which was that battle was actually fucking um was actually fucking big deal. You know um he was talking about BMF and how, how, his, how his pops and shit. That was a real 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 big battle. I think if you Google like biggest battle, I think that was the biggest battle. He got paid forty thousand dollars for that. That shit's still too much fucking money. You understand what I'm saying? It's too much fucking money. YouTube ain't gonna recoup recoup that. You know? You know they 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 overpaid the niggas. They overpaid the niggas. And once you overpay a nigga, you can't go back. That's like saying, oh, the minimum wage is eighteen dollars an hour, and then saying it's twelve dollars an hour now. Like you can't do that. You know? People just ain't gonna work. You know? So uh, that's where the league. That's where the big leagues fucked up. The battle rappers fucked up because. Uh, they would do favors. They would do favors. A lot of the times, a lot of the times, a whole lot of the fucking times, and this is going to come out one day, and I'm going to post this shit again. A lot of the times, battle rappers will say, well, oh, I'm getting this, I'm getting that, I'm getting this many thousands, I'm getting this many thousands, when really they wasn't. When, 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 when really they don't, they don't get the money that they say they get. So with that being said, everybody's fucking confused. A lie, a small lie just turns into a larger into a larger lie, you know? So once a battle rapper say he got something he didn't get, now all the other battle rappers want it. Now all the fans is looking at the shit like, oh, this is what's going on. Now their expectations is even higher. So when the money's not there, that's what causes, and that's what caused the domino effect. Because those same rappers would go on URL, and I'm not gonna say nobody's name, but this is a fucking fact, bro. A rapper will be on URL, go get a million views, battle rap on URL, get a music, a million, a million views, say he got $10,000, when really he only got $1,000. This is where the battle rappers fucked up at. Because they gonna say, oh, I got 10,000 for this battle, I got 10,000 for this battle. So when they go to the smaller league, then the smaller league give them 4,000, when really he only got paid a thousand dollars on the big league so that's like that's like that's like mcdonald's 
That's like a fucking Big Mac being more expensive than a fucking restaurant burger. Like, you know, that doesn't even make any fucking sense. And it caused the domino effect. But I got a whole blog, man, um, that I'm gonna put out with more detail on that. The Death of Battle Rap. Make sure you check that out, man, because I'll put a lot of time into that shit. Make sure you check that out. But um, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, I got a lot of shit coming up. So just stay tuned. I'm going to drop a lot of fucking... I'm going to start doing announcements right here on this channel exclusively. FUTV, you know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much it, man. Make sure you uh like, subscribe, comment, do all that shit. Fuck with me. I'm fuck back with you. Episode 8, the fuck up out of here. FUTV, my full full. Make sure all y'all kids don't grow. You niggas can't be us and see us. It's $10,000 when really he only got $1,000. This is where the battle rappers fucked up at. Because they gonna say, oh, I got 10,000 for this battle. I got 10,000 for this battle. So when they go to the smaller league, then the smaller league give them 4,000 when really he only got paid $1,000 on the big league. So that's like, that's like, that's like McDonald's. That's like a fucking Big Mac being more expensive than a fucking restaurant burger like you know that doesn't even make any fucking sense and it caused the domino effect but i got a whole blog man um that i'm gonna put out with more detail on that the death of battle rap make sure you check that out man because i'll put a lot of time into that shit make sure you check that out but um that's pretty much it man uh i got a lot of shit coming up so just stay tuned. I'm going to drop a lot of fucking... I'm going to start doing announcements right here on this channel exclusively. FUTV, you know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much it, man. Make sure you uh like, subscribe, comment, do all that shit. Fuck with me. I'm fuck back with you. Episode 8, the fuck up out of here. FUTV, my full full. Make sure all y'all kids don't grow. You niggas can't be us and see us. It